but he's coming in. Why don't we talk to him right now? Jared, come on in. Here he is, the newest Raptor. Jared Sullinger, great to meet you, Jared, and great to have you here in the city. We talked about the way, Sherman and I were talking about the way things have kind of gone for your career. You know, you were flagged with the back injury and you fought through that. Doug Smith asked you about a career validating season. This is just kind of another step with you fighting through things that have been challenges for you. It's been all my life, honestly. You know, been a, everybody's been doubting me um, from day one, from when I've been playing basketball. And so, you know, like I said up there, I'm looking to make this home, um, looking, to, looking forward to winning. And, um, and just gonna making a deep run into the playoffs. And, and like I said before, this team was two games away from making it to the finals. And um, I'm, I'm only trying to help that. Jared, obviously you were on a Boston Celtics team that was growing. They were building a young team that was getting better. But now you're coming to a team that's a bit further along in the process in terms of winning. And the maturity around you on this team is a bit higher. When you look at this team and the, the potential to win, how exciting is that? Uh, it just reminds me of my rookie year, you know, going to that situation. You had Rondo, you had Paul, uh, we got Jason Terry, Courtney Lee, Kevin Garnett. And so going into that situation, you had to be more, way more mature than what your age was. And uh, in this situation, I think it's the same way just because um, of the history of the last couple of years of, of what they have accomplished. And so you just got to come into the situation mature. And you got to show the guys that you're ready to work. And um, I'm, just, I'm just ready, ready to ready to go to work and, and I'm so excited to be here man it's, it's unbelievable. Jared you talked about uh, talking with Coach Casey we know how extensively you touched, talked with Masai Ujiri. He's another guy in this organization a former Celtic and when I speak to him this is Wayne Embry he watched you play in college and he kept calling you the man let's go watch the man Sullinger when you were on TV what does it mean to have a guy a Hall of Famer the first African-American general manager a guy like that who thinks of you so highly as you come into this organization? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, when we met in Vegas, we went to dinner. Um, Wayne Embry told me, he said, you can be the best that you can be, but only you can you can push yourself past that limit. There's nothing I can say uh, or do to make you um, be the guy that, that he sees in me. And so, you know, you take that to heart, especially coming from a Hall of Famer. Right. Um, for everything he's done, uh, I mean, it means, it means everything. And so you just kind of got to take those words and it makes you push forward. All right, Jared, you're in Toronto now. You got to get used to the city. You got to get used to your environment. But in terms of getting prepared for the season, what are some of the things that you're going to be focusing on to get ready for what's supposed to be another successful season? I, honestly, I just kind of, I kind of put the basketball to the side. Um, instead of just working out, um, you know, working on your jump shot, I kind of been more focused on improving my body. And so uh, just trying to get up and down the floor, understanding that, you know, there's going to be times I play the four and there's going to be times I play the five. And uh, I just got to be prepared for whatever position that Coach Casey throws me in. And, and, that, and that's me coming in the best shape that I can be. Jared, great to talk with you. Welcome to Toronto. I think you're going to love this city. A lot of Americans come to Canada and real, not realize it's such a hidden gem. Great to have you here, man. Thank you. Thank you.